Hi guys, good morning. I, oh, cell phone. Who texts me at this? Oops. My mommy. Sorry, my mom is flying back to New York today. <laughs> well, I am alone in my house in Fort Myers. Um, later today, I'm going to be filming a video of my uh, the look that I did yesterday. The look that was in my, uh, which I haven't uploaded yet and haven't really uh, edited yet. Which is the my makeup collection video. This one is going to be about... Um, like what's in my skincare box that I have. Because I think it's kind of important if I film this one too and then put this one up and then do like what's in my makeup, uh, you know, what's in my makeup collection. All of it basically. So mind me, I have a pillow here just because I like to, I like to feel comfy. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get started. So I have a huge box of like, this is everything <laughs> of that. My foundations, oh crap. My foundations and my primers are also in here, so I'm just gonna take those out so that I don't like grab them and talk about them again. Because I think that's kind of annoying. That's just me though. It's my own personal business. Okay, I think we got all of this situated. So what I like to do every morning is be, um, I have very dry skin. I do. I have very dry, itchy skin, so if you see me scratching a lot, it's that. I have eczema prone. When I, after I shower, because I have very, um, very prone, like, I have eczema, even though it doesn't show. I do have, um, mainly on my legs is where I get it. You can see my feet. They're gross. But, like, these little things here, these are all from me just, like, randomly scratching, which I'm doing now. Um, me just randomly scratching my skin. I do have dandruff as well, and I use an anti. I use two anti dandruff shampoos. Um, I use obviously the Head and Shoulders, but I use it with a uh, eucalyptus in it, and I like it a lot. It's been helping my hair a lot. Where I don't, my hair isn't as itchy anymore, which is great, <laughs> and it really does help with the flakes. And then I use a L'Oreal one, which is also an anti-dandruff shampoo as well, which is in my bathroom right now. And I should have just grabbed it, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Anywho, but um, when I shower, I like to use Lush products. And um, I have a jelly soap. I just can't get it right now because it's all over the place. And it smells awesome. It's a jelly jelly body wash. Oh, I mean, it's really good. It has a lemon smell to it, and it's really refreshing. It leaves my skin smelling amazing. I love it so much. It's so great. I, hi I highly recommend it. And um, because I do wax my skin, oh, I should have grabbed the exfoliator too, but whatever. I go to European Wax Center. My mom usually does wax me because we are from Brazil. <laughs> and so my cousin in Brazil, who is obviously her cousin as well, um... They, she makes her own wax, honey-based wax. So um, it's really awesome. So my mom, when I'm in New York, she usually waxes me. But when I am live, when I am by myself and I am in Florida right now, I tend to go to European Wax Center, which is awesome. And um, I love to get their samples of their stuff. So like I have the Cheeky Strut. I have the Body Wash, which I'm going to try. And I also have the Sensual Strut. Uh, trio pack which they gave me of the body lotion the body polish and the body wash as well and I also have the cheeky strut body lotion so I'm super excited to try these body washes because I use dove mainly but apparently from what I hear if you have really dry skin with dove this is what the girl at the waxing center told me was that it just it's it stays on top of your skin it really doesn't like go in and moisturizes as as well as it should and it just leaves like a, a film I guess like over your skin which I think is kind of weird because I've been using Dove for a lot a long time 
So I guess we'll have to, I guess I'll have to try these out. So I'm super excited to try these. I also have the, uh, the exfoliator, which helps to get ingrown hairs out. So I'm super excited to try these guys out. Um, I have, you know, so this is also part. But two moisturizers that, body lotions that I like to use is this one. This is from Skin FX. I've been using it lately. This is for dry skin. Um, it has natural ingredients, sunflower oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and it's fragrance free, which is awesome. I think that's super important if you have super, you have dry skin, like pro eczema skin like I do. Um, it's important to have fragrant, fragrance free anything, anything, because it just, I feel like if you don't and you do have something that smells really nice, which I'm kind of worried about these guys because they do have a fragrance in them, the lotions at least. Um, yeah, I might not like it. It might be irritating to my skin, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, right now it's not. But, um, well, you know, just have to try it and see. See, I'm scratching. <laughs> um, but this is what it looks like. It's just like a body butter. Has no fragrance whatsoever. It goes on super, th it's super thick. But you feel it moisturize. It really does. Like, I've been using it for the last few days, and it has totally helped my skin feel so much better. It's less ashy. Um, and another one that I also like to use, like, if I don't have this one nearby or if I'm out of it, I like Gold Bond, the healing, ultimate healing. Fragrance-free, like I said, has to be fragrance-free. Um... It's packed with seven moisturizers. It he it has aloe in it, which is great. And it's not greasy. So this is kind of greasy. And this doesn't leave, like, a greasy feeling on your skin. So that's super helpful. Um, it's hyperallergenic as well. So, you know, if you have allergies to some things like that, uh, it does have alcohol in it, which I kind of find a little disturbing. Because I feel like alcohol to your skin just tends to dry it out. Maybe that's just me. Let me see if this one has it too. I don't think this one does. Yeah, no, this one doesn't. Maybe that's why this doesn't really... I mean, this sometimes works. But I feel like the... Oh, it does have alcohol. Sterile alcohol. Hmm. I mean, you know, I haven't really had any complaints about this other than that. You know, I mean, it, it works. What the fuck am I watching? Sorry. TV's on. <laughs> I'm so horrible. Um, but this is this is uh, packed with seven intense moisturizers, which they don't really tell me. Hydro lasso. It lasts 24 hours. It has 24 hours of hydration, which I can be, which I can attest to. And this is just good, like, for me to have, like, in my bathroom, just as, like, you know, if my hands are super dry, just, like, put it on my hands and I rub it. You know, if I have, like, dry spots on my skin. <sighs> like, right now, like, my, this arm is super itchy, so I'm just gonna... And like underneath my armpits as well. So that really helped out a lot, actually. Yeah, no, my arm is not as itchy anymore. But that is my main problem. Like I really do have a lot of my my skin is super, super, super dry. So it does itch. A lot of the time but um you know these are my two main body moisturizers that I like to use they're awesome highly recommend it um, if you know of a product that is great for dry skin eczema prone skin that gets rid of like itchy feelings all day please let the girl know <laughs> let a sister know <laughs> let me know because that is my main issue and I don't want to be at, like, an interview or at work constantly scratching, like, my legs or my arm. 
or anything like that. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, face mask wise and eye masks wise, I recently have gotten this eye mask from Skin Iceland. Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. It really does cool. Like when I put it underneath my eyes, it I tried this once already. There comes, this is $15 at Ulta. Um, it comes with four packs that look like this. With two eye gels, obviously. One for each eye. And I really like it so far. Um, it's super hydrating. It really does leave your skin feeling really nice and it does cool down and it does get rid of like the puffiness. So I like to use it at night before I go to bed. Mainly just because like it helps me calm my skin down before the day. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm so rude. And all of that. So what else? I have these two masks from Tony Moly Master Lab. One is a moisturizing, intensive moisturizing, Ceramade Master Moisturize Care. They're from Korea. Yes, they're made in Korea. So this purple one is for problem dry skin with flaky cracks, which totally happens. Like I get flaky cracks like along my nose bridge here, the center of like where my third eye is. Um, Sometimes along, like, my jawline, my eyes, especially in, like, uh, like this, like this area of my face. So I'm going to test this guy out and see how it works. I haven't used it yet, just because I really haven't had fun. I don't want to, like, a part of me doesn't want to use it. Because then I have to go buy another one and I'm one of those people where it's just like, what if I want to use it and I don't have the time to like go out and get it or I won't have the money to go out and get it. So I'm like waiting to use it. But I think I'm going to test this out today. Not now. And then the other one I have is Intensive Hydrating, which is also great for people who have dry skin. My face gets really dry, even here in Florida. Um Especially here in Florida. Like when after I sweat and everything else like that, it just, it's disgusting. Um, again, dry skin that lacks moisture. This has hy hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. I cannot pronounce that right. But it adds hydration to the face and it locks in moisture or it brings moisture to your face, which is great. Um, yeah, so these two, I hear that they're really good. The girl at Ulta told me about them. She said that if you have dry skin, because I wanted to get like a peel mask where I could, you know, peel off. <laughs> I kind of want one of those masks that it's painful for to take off for you. So then I can see like the grossness of my skin and like what's really under there. But she said that that's really bad for uh, people who have dry skin, prone eczema skin, such as myself. Because then you're, like, taking out the moisture, I guess. So I don't really know. I'm learning I'm learning day by day with my skincare. So these are two masks that uh, if you've tried before, please let me know how you like them. I take that greatly. And then two other masks that I have. I have a detox mud mask that is from Dirty Works, which is a, an English brand with blueberry and willow bark extract. This just like takes out the impurities, but I feel that this is more for people who have oily skin than dry skin. But I don't use it all the time. I use it like once a month maybe, or like every other, or every two weeks, because it does leave my skin a little bit clearer where I don't see as many like uh, blackheads anymore, or like dirt on my skin. So that's super helpful. And it does leave my skin a little bit refreshed. It does leave it a little bit glowy too. So, you know, and this smells really good. It smells like blueberries. Mm, it does. And it's green. So I like green. Green's my favorite color. But that's neither here nor there. And then another one that I have by Shea Moisture, which is a raw shea butter hydrating mud mask. This I actually like. 
This actually works. I really enjoy this one a lot. And it's great because it's cruelty free. It's all organic. Um, it's family owned and operated. You know, it has just, it's a non-drying mud mask. It does dry, but it doesn't dry out your skin. So what it does is, um, it has franken frankincense extract and mirth, merith extract, which has vitamin E in it. And I guess that that is what brings, um, helps keep in moisture to your face or bring moisture to your face. As well as the, fra the frankincense helps calm down like any irritation that you have or any redness, which I tend to get sometimes after I wake up or like if, you know, I'm really stressed out, like it tends to show up in like my face, like my forehead. Um, or especially after I get some sun, it does, it does help out. And it, like, you know, I get redness around my, my nose area, ooh, my nose area, um, my eyes especially, my eyes especially. I always wake up with like redness on the sideness, like the sides of my eye, the outer sides of my eye. Um, so this I really like, and it looks like, it's just like a, a gray clay. And it doesn't really have any scent to it. It just smells like a, it smells like clay. And it doesn't, you know, it's not that strong of a scent. It smells like shea butter. And I guess frankincense? I've never really tried. I've never really smelled frankincense. So. I like the texture of this too. It's really, I like the texture of this guy better than the, the detox mud mask. And they're both mud masks, so. But I like the texture of this guy better. Those are my masks. Okay, so cleansers. Oh, I'm so sleepy. What did I do? I didn't do anything. I just woke up super early and took my mom to the airport. What's wrong with me? I have an issue. That's not okay. All right, so cleanser wise, I have this guy from La Roche Posay. It's for normal to dry skin, which is great. It's a tolerant, hydrating, gentle cleanser. It's dermatology tested, dermatologist tested, which is awesome. So I know that professionals like to use this, and it's great. I've actually been using not their face stuff, but I've used their lip products before, and it's super helpful. I like them a lot. Um, they are soap-free. So there's like no greasy or film or like, you know, soapy, like most cleansers would have. Non-comedernic? I don't know what that is. It's allergy tested. So if you have really super sensitive skin, such as I do sometimes, because I do have sensitive skin where, um, you know, where some things have caused like redness afterwards. Um you know, where my skin just feels super raw. So it's great. It's fragrance-free, oil-free, and sulfate-free, and paraben-free, which is awesome because you don't want that disgustingness all over your face. I wish it was. I don't think it has gluten in it. Which is not really a problem for me because I don't have a gluten allergy, but my mom does, and apparently it runs in the family. Like, it's a genetic thing that has in our family. So I just, you know, I eat bread. It's <laughs> tough, but I feel like it's been not so beneficial. I just like to not have it on my face. I feel I, f I don't know. It feels better to me. Um, it is a prebiotic thermal. It has prebiotic thermal spring water, niacin cyamide, and ceramide. It helps to clean the dirt and make, so you can use this to take off your makeup as well, but what I like to do is I have the Garnier Clean Plus from their Skin Active program. It looks like this. It is a, um, a makeup removing lotion cleanser. So this is really awesome because it has the more, more ringa, Moringa and plant extract. And this is also fragrance, alcohol free, dye free and oil free. Again, it's also tested by dermatologists. Um, I love this stuff. So I'll use these two together. I will use this first to take off everything that is on my face. And then I'll use this guy to take off whatever rest is on my face. This removes, you know, it's a lotion and, and a cleanser in one. So you don't have to rinse if you don't want to. 
I genuinely don't. I just rinse like my eye area when I use this and then I go in with like a cotton swab like these from Target and I just take off everything and you can literally see the, the makeup, the foundation, everything just come right off. And this is great because it does dissolve waterproof mascara, which I use a lot of, and it does comfort my skin. It does calm it down and my skin isn't left irritated as it would if I were to use like um, the Len, because the, I use this sometimes as well, the Lancome Biofacil, which is their eye makeup remover, which as you can see, it has like an oil on top and then the remover on the bottom and then you have to like, you know, you have to shake it, <laughs> obviously to make it work. And um, I feel like when I use this, especially when I have like, a lot of eye makeup on, such as like waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara, it really does irritate this area. But when I use this, I can actually gently feel like the mascara just all come off. So that's really awesome. So these two are great. I use this morning and, well, I use this morning and then if I do have makeup, I'll use this guy at night. So I'll use this morning and night and this just at night. The creams that I have for my face that I use like day and night, um, I have like three that I use during the day. Okay, so eye cream wise, what I have, I have two eye rejuvenating eye creams by, um, by Nature. It's a New Zealand brand. My mom uses it and actually I like it a lot. So I have two, one that is with coconut oil and one that doesn't have coconut oil. But this one does have rose rose hip as well as well as this one. So they both have like similar ingredients. It's just that this has coconut oil in it, which is great for your skin. I think personally, my opinion. But I use them both. And then at night, what I like to use is their eyes, the firming eye serum. So this I like to use during the day, rejuvenating. And then this I, I like to use at night, which I think I'm going to be switching up. I think I might start using the firming one during the day and then the rejuvenating at night instead. So we'll see how. I think I'm going to get better. And they're both collagen enriched. This one has vitamin A in it, whereas the one that doesn't have coconut oil in it only has vitamin E as well as this one. So those are my eye creams. And then I have the By Nature Moisturizing Face Serum. This I use before I put on like my actual moisturizer itself because um, cause I just think it's really good. It has green tea extract. Um, it's, you know, I use it after, you know, I cleanse my face, of course, and I put this all over like my neck and my face. Um, this is what I will use before I put on like any cream or makeup. And then I also have by them as well, I have two of these. I don't know why my mom gave them to me. It's a hydrating, hydrating, hydrating day cream. So this I will use after I put the face serum. Um, same thing, you know. It really is good. It smells really good. It doesn't, it really doesn't have like any strong fragrance to it. It's free of like parabens, diosilinura. I'm totally pronouncing that wrong. Fistulates, color, it doesn't have any color additives as well. So that's awesome, I think that's super cool. And then another one that I've been trying is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I like this one a lot. Cause it's for extra dry skin, so that's even better. So sometimes I won't even use the hydrating, the hydrating, the hydrating day cream. I'll just use the face serum and then I'll put this guy on as well. And it feels like a splash of water on your face. So I've really been enjoying this so far. I might be getting more products from this Hydro Boost collection. I might even try their eye cream as well. Because it has using is from Philosophy. These, it actually came with a night cream. It came in a duo pack, which I got at Sephora. Not Sephora. I got it at Ulta. And I don't know why, because the, the package itself says it's a $35 value, but then it's priced at $55. And I remember paying $35 for this, not $55. So I'm a little confused on that. I will have to check on the internet. Actually, I will check right now. Okay. 
But um, I like using, I don't, I haven't been using much of this because I have like other day creams that I've been using in place of it. But um, this isn't bad. It's really good. It doesn't have any scent to it. Um, it's a refreshing and refining moisturizer. So this is what you would use during the day. They do have bigger sizes of this. I just don't know how many milliliters or fluid ounces they are. This one is current, this one is 30, well, this is one fluid ounce. This guy is... Is it on the front? Am I being, am I being stupid? This is 1.7 fluid ounces. So this has a little bit more, obviously, more product in it. I'm a dumbass. My serum has, oh, two and a half ounces. So that's awesome. And then they came with, it comes with a night cream as well. And I really like this guy. So I use this after cleansing, you know, you use it after cleansing treatment in the evening. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't have any complaints about it. If there, I'm going to see if I can try to get a different night cream just so I can see if it helps my face more and if it makes it a little bit better. Not that I have any complaints with this. It's just that this, you know, it's not a lot and I use it every day. So I would like to get the most out of it if I can. Well, I will. Oh, okay. It is $35. Okay, awesome. So they only sell this at... I didn't want to add it to my bag. Like, what the fuck? So they only sell this at Ulta. Um, so it is a $35 purchase. I don't know why at the Ulta that is near me, it's a... Oh, it's a $53 value. And you get it for $35. So maybe I read this thing wrong. Well, that is good to know. <laughs> So yeah, you can get these two for $35. You know, they're one fluid ounce each. Um, well, you know, the bigger sizes, which are either, you can either get them in two, two fluid ounces or, um, yeah, you can either get it in two fluid ounces or four, which I I mean, this one only comes in the two fluid, like two fluid ounce jar, so that's a little weird because the this guy comes in either two or four, and this guy is forty nine, while this guy is thirty nine. So I think that's a little, that's a big price difference. Like they're, you know, I know one is night and one is day, but I feel like regardless, it should be should be around the same price. I don't know why it's like exactly like a $10 freaking difference. So I would just get the value pack. You know, a little goes a long way, so it does last you a long time. It, it will last you a while. So I don't know, that's really weird to me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then something that I have recently bought, um, which I'm gonna use today, but it is, I've been, I've been looking for witch hazel, because I hear witch hazel is like a great, like, natural, uh, you know, like, toner for the skin that doesn't leave your skin drying out. But most of the witch hazels that I've been finding all have, like, at least 14% alcohol in it. And that is something I'm not looking towards, because alcohol does dry out my skin. And I'm not for that. <laughs> so I got this Botanics. Hydration burst with clary sage, clary sage, which is great because you know sage is so purifying. I used to have sage incense. Whenever someone I didn't like that I felt had bad vibes, I would just go around my house after they leave and just <laughs> have the smoke of the sage purify the house. When I used to live with a girl that I didn't like, I used to just go to her room and just like in front of her door, just like. Do you like the cross I didn't like say bless this house, bless this, <laughs> bless this house, like pre bless this room. Like whatever bad omens are here, go away. Um, so I'm excited for this because maybe it will get rid of some resentments that I have towards people and towards about myself. So I have this by Botanics. It's um I think it's an English brand, isn't it? Yes. It is made in the UK by the Boots Company. And it is distributed in a New York. Hey! The Royal Botanic Gardens. So it's in partnership with the Royal Botanic Garden. 
which I'm guessing, you know, with the royals, it's so cute. So if the queen uses this, hey. So I'm excited to try this out. It's a micellular, 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 micellular uh, cleanser for dehydrated and sensitive skin. It doesn't have alcohol in it, so that's great. I love that. Um, it's a cleansing water that's formulated with uh, clary sage extract, and it sweeps away the makeup, leaving the skin without leaving the skin really dry. So this is really great. I'm excited to to try this. If product gets into eye, rinse well immediately. Color may vary due to natural ingredients. What the fuck? So is this gonna like change color? So I'm excited to try this guy out. Let me see how it smells. Ooh, I like the topper. It doesn't really have a smell. So I guess that's cool. So I'm excited to try this. I've never tried botanics, but um, I like to try new products that are like you know natural, paraben free, sulfate free, um, you know, no dyes or anything like that. It's fragrance free, like I said before, alcohol free if possible. Um, so you know, skincare especially, I think that's important, and I'm trying to integrate that into like my makeup as well. So. Yeah, so if you guys have tried any of these products and you, you are fabulous fans of it, let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, let me, if you do have dry skin prone eczema skin such as I do, please let me know what you do when you have like little pimples pop up everywhere and like what you do to get rid of them. Um, you know, what products you use that I could possibly try. And if you want me to review something for you, please let me know. I will greatly do it with a smile on my face. Yeah! All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Enjoy yourselves. Today is Wednesday, so I don't know when I'm going to be posting this. I'm kind of hoping I can get it edited today, but I'm going to be filming another video right after this. So maybe I should edit, do my skincare, and then film my tutorial. But me and my stepdog, you say bye. Bye.